33. So this kind of looks like normal skin at this low power, but closer in there are some features of wart. So this I think is Veruca plana. Yeah, Veruca plana. This is a very subtle lesion that from low power doesn't stand out as much. It's just, here's the normal epidermis. It's a little acanthotic. And the surface, instead of the nice finger-like projections of a Veruca vulgaris, you have this just very tiny little little undulating rolling hills, okay? And when you go in closer, you will see hypergranulosis. And again, that little undulation with maybe a touch of para here and there. And oftentimes you see prominent vacuoles around the, the superficial nuclei, like here. Um, you don't always see them, but those right there. And I feel like Veruca plana can have a lot of overlap, honestly, with lichen simplex chronicus. In LSC, um, you get hypergranulosis, and you can begin to get kind of some undulation uh, change. Uh, so the clinical usually can help because these are small, flat, uh, kind of flat macules, um, or, or I guess they're I guess they technically would be small plaques because they are raised a little bit, um, and they tend to be multiple, and they can kevnerize along lines of trauma, right? Um, like from shaving, you can get them spread in a little line. So that's Veruca plana. Oh, here, that's a good example of how you're beginning to get kind of this pale change around the kind of larger keratinocyte. So this is basically, my, my idea is this is an HPV effect, that the, the cells are kind of getting larger. They're not actual coilocytes, but the nuclei get kind of larger and get a little pale space around them. Um, so that's a nice example of Veruca.